So I'm going to connect multiple Google Sheets to a single pivot. As you see, I have three different Google Sheets, including some sales data. What I need to do first, I'm going to open up the first sheet. And as you see, I have multiple tabs also in the Google sheet, including different sales data. But let's say I want to connect only the USA sales data to my Excel pivot table. So what I do, I select the first cell on my sheet. I hit control A and it selected the range where I have any data. Then I go to the data tab, choose named range, and I'm going to name my range as underscore USA one hit done. Once it's done, I can go back to my Google drive and I'm going to repeat the process for all my sales tables. I go to the share button. I'm going to change the general access with anyone with the link. I copy the link. I open up a blank notepad. I'm going to say USA one. This is the link for it. And I just simply repeat the process for all these three Google Sheets. I zoom in a little bit. And if you look at the function, what we have there, it says edit. And that's something what we need to change. I'm going to select this edit word, control F, and I'm going to hit replace. And I'm going to replace the edit word with the export word. Once it's done, hit replace. I can close this window. Then I open up a file browser and I create a brand new Excel file. Select Microsoft Excel worksheet, name it like Google, and I open it up. I go back to my notepad, then I'm going to copy the first link. Hit Ctrl C, I go back to Excel, data from web, I simply paste the URL link, then I hit OK. The navigator pane will show me all the content of my Google Sheet. But this time I don't want to select multiple items, I just want to pull the USA 3 range. I'm going to select that specific range, hit transform data, and here we go. One Google Sheet has been imported to the Power Query Editor. Then I go to the close and load, close and load too, and I'm going to create only a connection this time. Then I hit OK. And then I just simply repeat the process for all these links, and I'm going to import all those named ranges. From web again, paste the URL, hit OK. I need the USA 2, transform data. And this time I'm going to create directly from the query editor. I go to the notepad. I'm going to select the last link, control C, back to the query pane, right click, new query, other sources from web, paste the URL, hit OK. I select my named range and one more time, hit OK. Since each table has the same structure, I don't really have to transform the data this time. But what I'm going to do is to select the append queries and append queries as new. I got more than two tables, so I'm going to select the other option. The USA one automatically imported to the tables to append because that was the table I selected when I hit the append queries as new. So I'm going to double click on the second one and on the USA three. Once it's done, I simply just hit OK and I got an appended table that includes all those subtables from the Google Sheets. Then I go to the Home tab, close, close and load two. And now I got two options. I'm going to show you the first one. First, I'm going to select only create connection, hit OK. Then I right click on my appended table, hit load two, and I select pivot table report on an existing worksheet. And let's say B2, hit OK. And here we go. My Google Sheets data has been imported, connected to a pivot table. I'm going to select the month name as a column. The product should be the rows. And let's say I want to see the profit. Done. If I want to load this data to the Power Pivot, which has more features than the standard Excel Pivot, then you select your query table again, right click, hit load to pivot table report and add this to the data model. Hit OK. And now you're using the Power Pivot feature in Excel connected to Google Sheets. Let's try one more time. Products as rows, month name under the columns, and I'm gonna add the profit as values. And if I wish, I can easily add the slicer. Let's say discount band, hit OK. I close the query pane, and I'm pulling sales data from Google Sheets using Excel Power Query. Let me know in the comment if it was useful for you.